Carbon is a common non-metal element which is frequently used in our daily life. Even though carbon is non-metal, but because of its characteristic, it is placed into the reactivity series of metals. Why is it so? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Construct the reactivity series of metals based on reactivity of metals with oxygen. Identify the position of carbon in the reactivity series. Observe the reaction of the following metals with oxygen. Can you suggest the least reactive metal? What criterion do you use to describe the reactivity? The criterion which is used to describe the reactivity is based on the flame's rigorousness. We can use the reactivity of metals on oxygen to construct a reactivity series of metals. Observe the table of the reactivity series. The table shows the reactivity series of metals. Compare the series with the reactivity in calcium, magnesium and aluminum. What can you say about their reactivity? Calcium is more reactive than magnesium. Magnesium is more reactive than aluminum. Compare this information with the reactivity series of metals. What can you say about the series? In the reactivity series of metals, the metals are arranged with decreasing reactivity towards oxygen. In the reactivity series of metals, the top metals are more reactive than the metals below it. This information is important in the extraction of metal industry. If we have two metals, magnesium and iron, to be reacted with oxygen, which metal will react more vigorously? Explain your answer. Magnesium will react with oxygen more vigorously to form magnesium oxide. This means magnesium is more reactive than iron. Predict which metal will react more vigorously with oxygen. Sodium quickly reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide. It means sodium is more reactive than copper. The more reactive metal is able to extract oxygen from the less reactive metal. For example, magnesium is more reactive and able to extract oxygen from iron oxide. Magnesium reacts with iron oxide to form magnesium oxide and iron. Predict if there is any reaction if we heat a mixture of zinc oxide and magnesium. Explain your answer. Magnesium will extract oxygen from zinc oxide because magnesium is more reactive than zinc. Is there any reaction if a mixture of magnesium oxide and iron is heated? No, there is no reaction as iron is less reactive than magnesium. Iron will not be able to extract oxygen from magnesium oxide. Carbon is used to extract some metals from its oxide. 
This means carbon is more reactive than metals. What is the position of carbon in the reactivity series of metals? A mixture of metal oxide and carbon is heated. What will happen if carbon is more reactive? Carbon will extract oxygen from the metal oxide to form carbon dioxide and metal. We can use this information to investigate the position of carbon in the reactivity series of metals. Observe the reactions between metals oxide and carbon. Look at the products of the different reaction. Which mixtures would you infer that reaction has occurred? Reaction has occurred in zinc oxide and copper 2 oxide mixtures. From your results, can you identify the position of carbon in the reactivity series of metals? Carbon is placed in between aluminum and zinc in the reactivity series of metals. Carbon is placed in the reactivity series of metals because of its tendency to combine with oxygen. Carbon reduces metal oxide to metal if it is more reactive than the particular metal. Therefore, carbon can be used to extract metal from metal oxide. Complete the crossword puzzle. Three across. The reactivity rate of metal is when goes down the reactivity series. Five across. There is a when a mixture of lead oxide and carbon is heated. 6 across. Carbon is above in the reactivity series of metals. 8 across. Metal that is above calcium in the reactivity series. 1 down is above carbon in the reactivity series. 2 down. Metal oxide that does not react with carbon when heated. 4 down. Metal above magnesium in the reactivity series. 7 down when a mixture of carbon and copper 2 oxide is heated. Metal is produced.
You are given the following apparatus and materials: apparatus, Bunsen burner, crucible, clay triangle, tripod, spatula. Materials: metal oxides, P, Q, R, and carbon powder. Arrange the apparatus so that you can investigate the position of carbon. Mix the metal oxides with carbon and observe the reactions. Identify the following: one, manipulated variable; two, responding variable; three, controlled variable. Record your results in Table One. Use the labels to record your observation. From your results in Table One, identify the position of carbon. Write the word equation from the reaction that occurred. Click the correct answer. The data table drawn from the observation of the reaction of metals W, X, Y, and Z with oxygen is given below. Construct a reactivity series from the data in order of decreasing reactivity. W produces bright glow. X produces slight glow. Y produces glow. Z produces bright light. W. X, Y, and Z. Z, Y, X, and W. Z, W, Y, and X. X, Y, W, and Z. Your answer is correct. Arrange the metal in order of increasing reactivity with oxygen. Zinc, magnesium, copper. A, zinc, magnesium, copper. B, magnesium, zinc, copper. C, copper, magnesium, zinc. D, copper, zinc, magnesium. Your answer is correct. When a mixture of carbon and zinc oxide is heated, there is a reaction and zinc is produced. Which statement is incorrect? A. Carbon is more reactive than zinc. B. 
Carbon is above zinc in the reactivity series. C. Carbon can extract oxygen from zinc oxide. D. Carbon is below zinc in the reactivity series. Your answer is correct. The diagram shows the apparatus for the reaction of metal oxides with carbon. Which of the following metals will show slight glow during reaction? A. Copper. B. Calcium. C. Aluminium. D. Magnesium. That's not right. Please try again. Your answer is correct. The table below shows data on the reaction of metal oxide with carbon. Arrange them in an order of increasing reactivity. A. Y. X. Carbon. Z. B. Z. Y. Carbon. X. C. X. Y. Z. Carbon. D. X. Carbon. Y. Z. Your answer is correct. A student finds that the iron nails he kept in the store have rusted. Explain how to obtain his iron nails in its original metal without rust by using carbon powder. Your explanation should include the following: one problem statement. Iron nails become rusted. Two name of the method used. Heating a mixture of iron oxide or rusted nails with carbon. Three steps of the method used. He mixes nails and carbon powder in a crucible. Then he heats the mixture. Carbon reduces iron oxide to iron and carbon dioxide gas because carbon is more reactive than iron in the reactivity series of metals. As a result, the iron nails are in its original form without rust. In this lesson, you have learned about the reactivity series of metals based on reaction with oxygen. See the arrangement of metals in the reactivity series. Where is the position of carbon in the reactivity series? Carbon is placed below aluminum and above zinc in the reactivity series. Carbon can extract oxygen from the metal oxides below it in the reactivity series. In the reactivity series, metals are arranged in order of decreasing reactivity. Metals at the top are more reactive than the metals below them. Carbon is a vital component of all known living systems, and without it, life as we know it could not exist. The major economic use of carbon is in the form of hydrocarbons, most notably the fossil fuels, methane gas and crude oil or petroleum. Click the info button to learn about other uses of carbon in our daily life. The isotope carbon-14 was discovered in February 27, 1940 and is used in carbon dating. Graphite is combined with clay to form the lead used in pencils. 
Diamond is used for decorative purposes and also as drill bits and other applications making use of its hardness. Carbon is added to iron to make steel. Carbon is used as a neutron moderator in nuclear reactors. Graphite carbon in a powdered cake form is used as charcoal for cooking, artwork and other uses. Activated charcoal is used in medicine as powder or compounded in tablets or capsules to absorb toxins or poisons from the digestive system.